These grease packs are about $1.50 or so from the neighborhood fleet pride. The grease gun is the way to go. I guess that's pretty obvious, but I just wanted to try out a few of these grease packs. Seem like they want to make it easy, but when you want to make it easy, it's usually too good to be true. But I just want to listen to a pop. It's extremely satisfying. Just showing here how you got to be careful all the time in the big truck because people always think that they can beat you to a spot. So you've always got to be careful of people coming from cross streets and trying to dart in front of you. And a lot of people will say that the big trucks are dangerous, but the people who are saying that don't help things sometimes because they're taking these crazy chances. This guy didn't jump, but he might next time. You pretty much got to watch him every time. Uh, this is definitely one of the top 10 tightest backing jobs I've had in five plus years of driving a truck. Uh, sometimes the key is to ignore anybody who's trying to watch you or help you when you're in a spot like that. Just take your time. Okay, here's a mystery for you. Got a trailer here. Turn the engine off so we can hear this. I just unloaded. Damn, what kind of trailer is this? It's a utility, I'm guessing. Utility, 53 footer. Took about two thirds off at this stop. So it's probably less than 12,000 pounds left on it now. And I want to know what this noise is. Is this something from the suspension? Is it a. What is that? I can hear this noise while we're unloading. The person unloading me noticed it pretty much before I did. I just ignored it. And now I'm wondering what that is. Is that noise? <laughs> and after one hour of that noise, it just goes away when I come back here. Wow, I got good timing. I'd love somebody to tell me what that is. Oh, it's coming back. And cut. Alright, so we had to take down the smokestack here. And I was showing where it was rusted before. So I went in and took it down. Because you can see right there. Totally rusted out. I'm going to probably either replace this cage or get some nice size washers to reattach this. First, I'm going to have to remove these things. Very rusted out. This thing was really old. First thing I'm going to do, obviously, is chip this away so that I can then put these new brackets, smokestack rings on. I said smokestack rings to the guy I was getting these brackets or rings from and I don't remember what he called them but he didn't call them smokestack rings so we had a little confusion there while we figured out what I wanted this is like a five inch smokestack pipe so first thing I need to get these off these are rusted on and you can see where it's broken off Right there. BRB.